Humans aren't that different from every other animal. In fact, when it comes to our welfare, we all need the same things. The ability to be ourselves, opportunities to go outside, a healthy body and a balanced diet, pleasant company, and access to alone time when we need some peace and quiet, a good night's sleep. These basic rights are what every sentient being needs to live a healthy and happy life. Yet millions of farm animals across the EU don't have them, despite the fact existing legislation suggests they should. So why are animals suffering? As it stands, the European legislation isn't strong enough to protect the welfare of millions of sentient beings across Europe. There are a lot of reasons why. For starters, the laws are outdated. The latest science hasn't been factored in. So animals are being bound by limited rules for their welfare that no longer apply. In many areas, the standards that are supposed to ensure their care are also too vague and loopholes are being exploited. A lack of species-specific rules are leaving countless animals open to mistreatment and neglect. Footage from undercover investigations show that existing laws are even being ignored. Animal welfare standards are being broken right before our eyes. And these are not isolated incidents. There's widespread negligence and mistreatment of farmed animals throughout our union. We need dramatic change. The revision to the animal welfare legislation this year must be strong, precise and enforced if we're to alter the fates of these poor sentient beings for the better. A change we know EU citizens want too. There's a lot of proof from the huge response to the End the Cage Age ECI to the public endorsement for the No Animal Left Behind project, which received over 200,000 supporting signatures. The following animal welfare issues in particular need the EU's attention. Broiler chickens are young, sociable animals that love to roam and play. Just like every puppy, kitten and child, they have distinct personalities and are eager to explore and learn. However, they face significant challenges from the moment they are born. 95% of the EU's broilers are fast-growing breeds, selected and bred to grow at a rapid rate. When broilers are still very young, around five to six weeks old, they're considered large enough to be taken to slaughter and eaten. But as they're bred to grow so fast, they suffer from serious health problems like painful lesions and heart abnormalities in their short lives. Crammed into stuffy, filthy barns with no access to natural light, broilers spend their days battling for room in the shadows, wading through their own excrement, which leads to skin burns, lesions and abnormalities. The sheer scale of intensive broiler houses means that staff cannot properly inspect each bird, so many die slowly and painfully from their injuries. What's more, the disgusting habitat in which so many of them live is prone to overheating due to their fast-growing nature, which means that diseases spread quickly in broiler houses. Antibiotics are therefore routinely used, which is dangerous both to the birds themselves and to people. Death from stress, starvation, dehydration, sickness and malformation is also a normal occurrence here, along with many other casualties caused by bad handling and management. Millions of broilers do not even have the dignity of a pain-free slaughter. They're subjected to water bath stunning, where their fragile and often injured feet and legs are shackled. They hang upside down for a long time and are then electrocuted in water. The slaughter is done at such speed and in such an uncontrolled way that it is often ineffective, traumatizing these birds before they eventually killed. It's time for the EU to update its animal welfare rules. But 
Birds, like broiler chickens, need to be grown at a healthy rate and have the ability to engage in natural behaviours like foraging and dust bathing. The way in which they're slaughtered also needs to be revised. Only more robust laws for their welfare can end their nightmare. We need stronger legislation to ensure broiler chickens can lead lives worth living. Millions of young, sentient beings are spending each day stressed, starved and in pain. The European Commission has the power to change that. Fish are emotionally complex, with rich and diverse relationships between themselves, other aquatic beings and their environment. But only now are welfare standards being considered for fish in the EU. The new animal welfare legislation urgently needs to reflect the knowledge we have about their sentience and the need to care for them on farms and during slaughter. In intensive farming systems across Europe, fish are being killed without prior stunning, meaning many experience a slow and agonizing death. Often, little thought is put into their welfare while they're being handled and grouped together. Farmed fish are commonly crowded so tightly that desperate for space and oxygen, they frantically swim and jump from the water. Sea bass and sea bream can face a particularly distressing fate. Lifted out of the water in nets and thrashing and struggling for room, many are crushed by the weight of other fish. They're then dumped into ice water where they take at least 15 minutes to die from asphyxiation. Unfortunately, even when stunning technologies are used, they're often misused and inflict terrible suffering. Electrical stunners are often not set with the correct parameters and electrocute fish without causing them to become unconscious. Manual percussive stunning is only effective if done precisely every time. But the reality is that fish are frequently kept out of water and beaten repeatedly around the head. It's time for the EU to update its animal welfare rules. Fish need new specific rules that draw into account their sentient status and the best welfare practices that we know of. They should be handled with care, offered enriching lives and slaughtered in a way that doesn't inflict intense suffering. We need stronger legislation to ensure fish can lead lives worth living. Fish are dying in agony, desperately struggling for oxygen. The European Commission has the power to change that. Pigs are one of the most intelligent animal species in the world and are highly sensitive. Yet they suffer by the millions in intensive farming systems. In 2020, there were over 11 million breeding cells on mother pigs across Europe. Cells can be kept in individual confinement for most of their lives trapped in depressing cages where it's impossible to do anything other than lie down, sit and stand up. A lot of sows develop health problems in these prisons. They live in a state of constant stress, suffering issues like abscesses from their constant discomfort and mouth sores from repeatedly biting the bars of their trap behind. Vulnerable to sickness, their piglets are often born ill and struggling with physical and metabolic abnormalities. Pregnant sows need nutritious food for themselves and their young, yet millions have little access to it in these factory farms. Hungry and unable to act on their natural behaviours, like nest building for their piglets, they become stressed and frustrated. Many pigs in factory farms are also subjected to CO2 stunning and killing. CO2 exposure can be excruciating, and when it isn't effective in rendering them unconscious, it results in monstrous deaths. It's time for the EU to update its animal welfare rules. The rules for pigs and sows are not specific, substantial, or strong enough to protect their welfare. Sows must be allowed the freedom to move comfortably, experience the outdoors, nourish themselves, and build nests for their young. Pigs and piglets deserve a chance to have a healthy life, learning and growing in a stimulating, comfortable and safe environment. The slaughter of pigs also needs to be revised to save them from their torture. 
We need stronger legislation to ensure pigs can lead lives worth living. Imagine a life without daylight or space to move. This is the reality for millions of sows and piglets across the EU. The European Commission has the power to change that. Cows are gentle and curious animals who form deep relationships with their peers. The bond between mother and calf is particularly strong. While the poor welfare of dairy cows is considered to be a highly pressing animal welfare issue in Europe, their welfare standards have been untouched over the past 25 years, which has allowed for serious problems to grow within herds. For example, lameness and mastitis, extremely painful diseases, affect more than a third of all cows in the EU. One of the reasons these cows get sick so often is because they're trapped indoors. They experience zero grazing systems, inadequate places to walk, rest, sleep and socialize, improper monitoring and treatment, and a huge pressure to create thousands of litres of milk per year. Constantly forced to produce, they're chronically hungry and often emaciated. Over half of Europe's calves live alone for at least the first eight weeks of their lives and are immediately separated from their mothers once they're born which has a detrimental effect on their mental state. Trapped in isolation, calves cannot socialize, play and learn. In adulthood, they are often tethered too. Cows have evolved to seek pasture and are strongly motivated to do so, to perform natural behaviors like grazing and exercising. Yet across the EU, an increasing number of dairy cows are being kept indoors permanently, which makes them more aggressive and stressed. It's time for the EU to update its animal welfare rules. Existing rules for dairy cows don't go far enough. Dairy cows need a comfortable house and access to pasture to achieve good welfare. And as a social species, should not be isolated from each other. We need stronger legislation to ensure dairy cows can lead lives worth living. Dairy cows in Europe are hungry, tired, frustrated and sick. The European Commission has the power to change that. Rabbits are energetic and curious animals that love living in groups in secluded places like burrows. However, in several EU farming systems, many of them live in tiny cages with less surface space than the equivalent of an A4 piece of paper. There's no way to exercise or be entertained, no place to hide when they feel stressed. Nowhere to rest or play as their cages often have uncomfortable floors and a complete lack of stimulation. The rabbits in these systems have nothing to gnaw on either, which is a huge blow to their welfare as their incisors are always growing. Having no way to wear down their teeth simply adds to their daily suffering. Restricted in nearly every way, caged rabbits have wretched lives filled with anxiety, which often translates into major health challenges leading to a frequent misuse of antibiotics. Unlike these poor sentient beings, antimicrobial bacteria can't be imprisoned and can be a big risk to public health. It's time for the EU to update its animal welfare rules. The new animal welfare legislation must include high welfare standards for rabbits. They need materials to chew, space to roam and play, and comfortable enclosed areas to which they can retreat when they need to rest or simply feel safe. It's not too much to ask. We need strong legislation to ensure rabbits can lead lives worth living. So many of the natural behaviors of rabbits are completely stifled in these conditions. The European Commission has the power to change that. Citizens, NGOs, scientists, researchers, and countless more people already agree Current laws are not strong enough, clear enough, or go far enough to protect the lives of millions of animals across the EU. In some areas, species-specific standards don't exist at all. Clearly, that needs to change too. In revising the animal welfare legislation this year, the European Commission can completely transform the lives of animals in Europe and eradicate their systematic suffering. In 2023, policymakers have the power to put an end to this and bring in a new era for millions of lives. Leave a positive legacy of compassion 
by making strong, clear changes to the EU's animal welfare rules, creating a better life for animals for generations to come. Change history, leave no animal behind. <laughs>